Welcome to the Whiskey and Wisdom Podcast, coming to you from the Cargo District Recording Studios in Wilmington, North Carolina, where we discuss the most fascinating topics of life. I'm Tyler Yaw with my co-host, Chris Kelly, and each week we interview a special guest to learn how they acquired their wisdom over a glass of whiskey. So sit back, pour yourself a glass, and enjoy Whiskey and Wisdom. Welcome back, everybody. This is Tyler Yaw, and I have Chris Kellum here, my co-host. What's up? And since we are still doing 75 hard, there is still no whiskey. However, <laughs> the setup in front of me looks very similar to every other week anyway, because we have our water here, but I also have a drinks with an X drink in front of me like every other episode as well. But this time I have the owners of drinks in the cargo district. So tell us a little bit about yourself and what are the drinks that we have in front of us here? Well, I'm April. I'm Joey. And we both own Drinks, which is a plant-based energy drink cafe here in the Cargo District. Tell us a little about what you sell. We basically carry Lotus and Acai. The Lotus drinks are like Lotus Refresher Teas. We call it our 21st spin on coffee um, just because it's the coffee fruit that, that Lotus uses. And then we carry our acai bowls. I believe we're unique when it comes to acai in the area. We don't we don't blend our bowls using a base pack. Okay, we, just, we have it shipped to us, so it's it's blended and and made into an acai sorbet, and then we have it shipped to us, and so that you get a hundred percent acai, you don't have other fruits blended in with it. Uh, and it okay. comes from Brazil, so we. Make sure we did our research and got, you know, the best acai, the most organic and the best product. And so, yeah, we're super excited to be able to offer that. To it, was impor- it was important to us for what ingredients were put into it. And this is 100% pure acai because we wanted to make sure it was vegan and not other ingredients weren't added into it. Right. Nice. When I was talking to you guys about it originally a few weeks ago, I didn't even know there was different types of acai out there that where people could even use. So that was pretty insightful too, just knowing that with oh, yeah. you guys, you're oh, getting yeah. the pure like, straight to the source. That's right. That's right. And, and we're learning every day. We're learning more about it and uh, the different types of blends that other places use like Galena or mm. Pattaya. Okay. I've seen that. So we're thinking about actually carrying Pattaya. That's that's been requested a number of times. What makes that different? It's made out of dragon fruit instead of acai, so it's a different uh, kind of like bear or fruit, I guess you would say. Yeah. And so sometimes you'll mix like the acai with the Pattaya and you know come up with a totally different new flavor and that's kind of unique too in itself. So we've got some Pattaya. We've tried it out and it's Chef's kiss. So we can't (laughs) wait to introduce that with uh, along with some other exciting news that we're going to be having coming up in the next few weeks of this month of September. Oh, cool. Nice. Um, And one of the main reasons why I love getting your drinks so often is I usually come in the middle of the day to pick it up. And then when we're recording, I always have one in front of me because there's quite a bit of caffeine and energy in it. Right. That's correct. Tell us a little bit of how, how that kind of plays together and where the energy and caffeine comes from. So <clears throat> so they use the cascara, which is the coffee fruit. The cascara actually has some caffeine in it, but uh, they found that it was more useful for the polyphenols and the antioxidants. Mm, okay. In. So it's packed with antioxidants. And then they pair it up in their, their concentrate. They pair it up with the lotus flower. And the lotus flower gives you, like, more energy, a more mm. vibrant feeling. They also put schizandra berry in it. That levels out all the chemicals in your body from blood pressure to blood sugar to hormones. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. For those females. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and then they also add in the resilia rosacea. So that's a powerful adaptogen that the, where the body like holds on to it. So as you b- begin to crash or falter in the day or, f- or get tired, it helps bring you back up, gives you a better uplifting mood. Vitality. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they pair it back up with the uh, green coffee beans mm-hmm. and green coffee tea extracts. Oh, okay. So all of it's not been processed. Like the beans haven't been roasted. So the whole point is so that your body can process it. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so it keeps all the coffee polyphenols. And so you still get the same 
caffeine feel as if you're drinking coffee, but without the crash jitters or taste, and it's more fruity, floral flavor. Mm -hmm. And so you can have your coffee any way you want it. You're not limited to six flavors, hot or cold. We can do it cold. We can do frozen. We can add glitter. We can add boba. (laughs) We can do flat water, sparkling water. Like, sky's the limit. And we can even have a loaded lotus once, you know, by adding, you know, alcohol to it. So... That's we've, pretty cool. We've yeah. definitely taken it in, in a lot of directions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's we've awesome. experimented just a little bit. <laughs> so how did you guys more, more personally for you guys, how did you find Lotus and what made you want to start a business out of it? Well, it's going to sound funny, <laughs> but I wanted a coffee drink that didn't taste like coffee mm-hmm. and that didn't give me the crash jitters or taste and, but still gave me that energy, but was also a refresher. And right. so I would leave Starbucks with like a pink drink and it's with high fructose corn syrup. After I drank mm-hmm. it, I felt yucky and blah and never no energy. And it's not coffee. Yep. Same and, thing for energy drinks. like Red Yeah. Bull. Yes. Oh my God. Right. Red Bull. Monster. I would drink it crash. Yep. And so with this, I came across it and fell in love with it. And I was like, I couldn't believe that it was coffee or it gave me like that feel without that crash jitters or taste. And I was able to focus and get through my day and then also kind of like zen out if I needed to as well and and fell in love with that. And then we came across the acai and, you know, we just started making the, the drinks and the stuff at home. And then we just figured, wow, we've really got something. And then we kind of product tested it to our neighbors and stuff. And they're like, wow, we really like this. And and so then we just decided that we needed to open this up and and so we're like the only one out there that's got the lotus and acai and the vegan type items in our cafe. So we're, we're definitely plant based, vegan, but we do have some options for other for other food types as well. So we try to be keto friendly, Weight Watcher friendly, mm-hmm. gluten free. We just try to be real mindful of everybody's food habit or not food habits, but food dietary needs. All right. <clears throat> so, crispy and Chris, two random questions. One. Where are you guys from? Okay. We are from Nashville, North Carolina, which is near like Rocky Mount, Raleigh, Wilson area. Okay. Yeah. So about two hours from here. It's, it's Nash County, which is right next to Wake County. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've seen Nashville. Like I went to ECU and would go to like Raleigh and whatnot. And I'm it's like 64. Yeah. Yeah, I've there's nothing that. in Rocky Mount, nothing, <laughs> yeah. except yeah. our child right now. She's going to college there. So. Oh, wow. In Rocky <laughs> Mount? Yep. At North Carolina Wesleyan University. Uh, She plays softball, her and her boyfriend. So he plays baseball. She's softball. And Mm -hmm. they just went back last week. So I was real confused. I'm like, her boyfriend plays softball? (laughs) No, he plays baseball. (laughs) No. No. They were holding down the fort this summer. (laughs) They were. They were. They were a real big help with this. Because we just just opened in January. And we've grown quite a lot. Mm -hmm. And so having them here really helped us learn a lot of things that – what to do, what not to do, you know, going forward before we start hiring employees and stuff. Right. And so it was really, an, you know, also too, we got to spend time with her before going back to college. Yeah. So it was really kind of cool. She got to work for the family. Nice. Right. <laughs> so if anyone doesn't know, when we first recorded the podcast, we did a big stint. I think we did like three or four episodes at the original cargo district. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> me and Tyler were like, well, it is noon and I have to drink all day and can't drink coffee. Yeah. And we just stumbled upon drinks. And I think they had, y'all had only been open like maybe a month. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was, it was quite refreshing to meet somebody. You guys had so much knowledge and so much like energy behind you. You're like, Hey, you know, try this. And we, I know I had one. I drink energy drinks every once in a while, but like, you're right. I definitely get the crash, but I had this and I'm like, well, I had one of these. And I drank all day, and I felt just fine. Yeah. So I definitely say check mark. Thank uh, you. Yeah. I haven't been back in a while just because when I'm Life. here, it's like stupid late at night, and I'm not trying to knock on your door at like six thirty and be like, "Hey, that's fine." We get sometimes where people will DM us and say, "Hey, I'm getting off work. I'm stuck in traffic. Don't close. We'll oh, stay wow. open." So we're we're a mom and pop so we can do that. So yeah. that's the one thing that we like about being, you know, our own little business that we own is that we can be more flexible versus <laughs> a franchise. And so if we want to stay open later, we can and you know, and well, nobody gets in trouble for it. Well, yeah. We're not early birds. So No. <laughs> <laughs> so often we'll stay after and and prep for the next day. So a lot of people hit us up and and it's fine. Nice. Oh, nice. We're, we're yeah. usually there for another 30 minutes to an hour. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
That's good to know too. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Tyler's like, ooh, hold yeah. on. Yeah. Like, now that may change that. when our hours change and we move. Right. So. Yeah, that's that's new exciting news. We'll be sometime moving up in the cargo district into a bigger um, space, still in the cargo, mm-hmm. but it'll be a, on Wrightsville Avenue. So hopefully sometime at the end of September we'll have that. So we'll have a drive through inside seating, and our parking space, our parking lot. Nice. So yeah, it'll be huge. Much more convenient to get to us. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm excited about the uh, drive through. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, it, we can call it a pickup window, drive through, whatever. So if you need to walk up to it, skateboard up to it, drive through it, it don't matter. We'll service you anyway. Yeah. That's I'm excited, awesome. but but I'm a little nervous too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, because we're going from 300 square feet to 1,200 square feet with a drive through. I just I just don't know what to expect with a drive through. I mean, mm-hmm. with just the the staff we have, I, I I don't know yet. So we're gonna have to pan things out. Right. See, that's yeah, why you that's don't, whole... you do right. You say it's a pickup window because if you say drive through, people assume it's going to be like a quick turnaround. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. if it's a pickup window, they're like, hey, you know, that means like I can come up and like pick up, pick mm-hmm. up an order right? or I can drive up and place the order. There's a, there's a little restaurant up in Jacksonville that has that. And it's like, I can't remember the name. It's a, my friend works in the mortgage industry and she's like, yeah, we'll just walk across the street and get some of this. And it's the same thing, like a small little venue, but like they have a pickup window. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think Dave's Hot Chicken here in Wilmington by the mall, they've yes. got a pickup oh, window. Because right. yeah. yeah. I thought it was a drive through at first when I came around. I was like, oh no, it's a pickup. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you can order and just walk up. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's a nice little setup. I'm excited for you guys just to kind of expand. Like the, the location you're at now is good for like getting people in there, getting knowledge, but it definitely. I'm excited that you guys can spread your wings a little bit and not like. Well, that's walk the one good thing about the cargo is they will help you like expand. So you know, we knew we were you know getting into this. We were new at the business, so mm-hmm. you know we did the, our little unit we've got now, and then you know we've grown and we've had such positive feedback to where now they've got a bigger space and we get to utilize it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited that you know the, the, it's a very community aspect here Definitely. at the cargo. So we wouldn't be where we're at if it wasn't for the cargo in the community, honestly. Yeah. It seems like it really took off, too, because it seems like every day there's someone else that's brand new that's trying it for the first time and posting it on Instagram, and they're super excited about it. Because that's oh, something yeah. else that I've noticed. Like, the first time someone tries your your drink, they're, they're excited about it. It's different mm-hmm. and exciting. Yes. That's our favorite part is when you've never had our drink and that first reaction. In fact, I joked with them about our new location to have like a reaction camera so we can <laughs> see it, you know, because people are like, Oh my God. Cause it's hard to explain what our drink is when you say plant-based energy, kind of like coffee, but it's fruity. You're like, what is it? Yes. Right. Well, we and, have, we have such a big waiting area that <laughs> <laughs> when, people, when people pick up their drink, they, you know, they get their straw and they go out the door. So seldom do we see their reaction. You know, sometimes right. they'll sit there and, and take the first sip there, and, and, and we can see Don't the reaction. Don't be picking on our but, big old waiting <clears throat> area. Oh, yeah. It holds a whole total of four people. No, I'm very thankful for our huge waiting yeah. area. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what I did the first time, too, when we got it. I had n- no clue what to expect. And I was like, oh, this is supposed to have like some kind of energy in it. And I drank it, and I got the flavor, and I was like, oh, my God, this yeah. is good. Yes. <laughs> well, is what's really funny good. is we have a – UFC fighter or something, some guy that like does like fighting or something. Mm-hmm. He came into our store today and he apparently likes our product and he wants us to kind of like sponsor him and stuff. And he says that it helps him before fights and stuff oh, wow. and gives him, you know, something that other energy drinks don't give him. Even, even when he goes to the, like the nutrition places, oh, yeah. those powders or energy or whatever protein stuff, he says it doesn't come close to our drinks. Wow. He, he questioned us to death, and I think <laughs> I think it was to make sure that there wasn't an additive that might be like make him like lose a because he's yeah, a lightweight a lightweight wrestler or something. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I know who you're talking about, but yeah, they get they get tested by USADA. And, if and so I thought maybe we in. had like, you know, maybe he didn't like something, <laughs> had an adverse reaction because just the way he asked us, he was like, what's in this stuff? And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. It's, I was, it was like, serious. He was excited, but we took his excitement as like. 
we were in trouble. Yeah, yeah. right. Or like, like he failed like, a test oh, no. or some sort. And I'm like, right. oh my God, everything's legal in our stuff. I swear it's plant based. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> There's weird things that will I mean, pop those been. USADA tests. Yeah. And even if, so this, this wouldn't be for the case for you guys. But there's, especially when it comes to supplements, supplements get made in the same batches as other performance enhancing type uh, of drugs. Yep. And so just so a kinda, small little flake like of that. may contain peanuts because they're right. in a peanut factory. That's yep. exactly what it yeah, is. And you saw it goes so deep into that blood test that even if what was right before it was illegal, if you had that next batch, They'll, they'll catch you for it. Well, yeah. we let him read the label and everything, so everything <laughs> right. was legit. But at first, I was like, oh. oh no, what happened? I was yes. like, oh, God. Here, sign this liability waiver <laughs> right quick. Mm-hmm. He, he was excited, and he told he said it gave him the endurance that it was unlike any other. So. Yeah, and wow. so. Just had to go off his word. So I love, the, so out of the two of us, I'm definitely the juice guy, mm-hmm. whereas Tyler's the coffee person. Gotcha. Which is hilarious. Oh, uh, yeah. No, because he's. Yeah. Because when he found this, I was like, Tyler, you know, I don't like coffee like that. And so just trying this out and the, the many flavors you guys have is just always refreshing because, I mean, no pun intended, but they they are so vibrant with flavor yeah. and it doesn't feel very, like it's dragging you down. Because like you said, I was the king. Everybody orders like, hey, you want some coffee? I'm like, no, nah, give me a refresher. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but it doesn't really. Right, uh, right. Which is funny because someone's trying to sue Starbucks because they didn't have the fruit they said was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness, I got more time for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was hilarious. Good I luck. saw that pop up and I was like, "Well, it's a smart thing." So when it comes to juices, I mean, this that's their flavor profile. Like, if anyone's, you know, I'm always the one for flavoring and mm-hmm. telling people this has like a very good, like it. It reminds me of a juice without that, like. Aftertaste. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Or I'm, the powdery kind of. Yeah. Like denseness of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I drink a ton of ocean spray and I'm like, oh, this is really, it either tastes really good with no, like, you feel like you haven't drank anything, but this, you can feel the actual juices involved in it. So my question is, where'd you come up with the flavors? <laughs> We were just like mad scientists in the, in the, <laughs> in the no, no, no. <laughs> they, Tarani actually has a bunch of recipes that you can use, like make Italian sodas and stuff like that. Oh, uh, okay. So oh. we kind of, we kind of based off that and then started doing our own experimentation. As soon as we knew the measurements and different amounts to put in what, we could like come up with our own recipes, like yeah. of anything technically. And actually working there, there's a lot of things that overpower other things. Mm. So like, for instance, coconut, if you like coconut in your drink, it doesn't take very much coconut at all to be like, bam, a lot of coconut. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So, I mean, there's some other, there's some other, uh, like passion fruit, passion fruit. It'll take over. Like you mm-hmm. can put it in with pineapple and strawberry and you just taste passion fruit, but people like that. And they like the hint of that other, that uh, other fruit. Yeah. So to each his own, you know, if, if you want it, I'm going to make it up for you. Right. That's cool how you kind of have that autonomy there and just kind of build whatever the client wants or that you guys want to make. And And a lot of times we leave it up to them because we say we've got, you know, 40 different flavors. What do you want? What do you normally like go for? What kind of flavors you that you like? And sometimes they'll say, well, this and this we will mix it for them. And, you know, either they like it or they don't. They don't. We'll make something new if they like it. Like the Jubilee. That's our white lotus with watermelon. Mm. Somebody just came and was like, man, I just want watermelon. We made it. They walked out the door. We made it. We liked it. It's on the menu. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> That's cool. So, so sometimes we take customer suggestions and their combinations, and we'll add it on there. Sometimes we'll name it after people. Like we've got one called the World Slayer. It's named after Garen, and he does, like, a lot of photography and stuff around mm-hmm. here and around the cargo and stuff. And so that's one we have that's named after him, and we know when his friends come that that, that he sent them because they just come in, World Slayer, World Slayer. And I'm like, you didn't even look at the menu. You don't even know what's in it. Do you even know that you like the flavors? They don't care. And That's so funny. we get a lot of referrals just by the name or, you know, or someone out of the cargo. If they see them with it, they're like, oh, I like that color. What did they have? Just by it being 
green and glittery walking down yeah. the, the alleyway. And then we're like, Baby Yoda with glitter or Blue Lagoon. <laughs> and so we can kind of tell by the colors of what the drinks are because we've mixed them so many times. Yeah. And, and she said it was a suggestion. Our menu itself is just a suggestion. Yeah. Mm. You can theoretically have anything you want. Wow. Yeah. So, so, so because I love watermelon, real talk, do you use, like, where do you get the watermelon flavor? Like, do you just, like, press a watermelon? Like, where do you get it from? Well, through Tarani or Monin. Okay. We order through, like, the syrup website. Yeah, we, we started off using Tarani. Um, we, liked the, we liked the Tarani because it was pure cane sugar. Little did we know some of the other, other brands were, too. <laughs> <laughs> but we really didn't want to do anything with high fructose corn syrup and in, be- in the beginning, we knew that was pure cane sugar, so we started with that. But now we're slowly moving towards Monin. Okay. Because Monin, it's it's a little more flavorful. Yeah, it's not as vibrant. I mean, when you with the Tarani is spot on with the colors. You know, what I'm saying if they want, if you want the whole rainbow, Tarani's got you. But the flavor, we found that Monin Monin adds a lot more flavor. So, which is a, just a better profile and a better perspective for our drinks. Interesting. Nice. And just from talking to you guys before too, you've you've both had the entrepreneurial spirit before this. So tell us a little bit where that spirit came from and what you did beforehand. Well, <clears throat> for for years I worked for a BBNT. I started off with desktop support there, yeah. and I just kind of got a feel for business while I was there on on what it took to do everything, mm-hmm. how many divisions it was, how many departments as. I had to reference a lot of those because of what I did in IT and had to know what everybody did yeah. just so I could, you know, satisfy their need. Mm-hmm. I just, I kept, I kept growing with the bank. I eventually did application development, just learned more about that, how big that business was. Mm-hmm. And then I got, we got, we got, my son actually started making freshly squeezed lemonade. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so when he started doing that, we kind of, we wanted to pin the name down so that got us into, you know, the avenue of how to how to get your name for your business. What does it actually take? All the pieces it takes to to start a business. Yeah, and uh, I guess that's where the spirit came from. Was actually his lemonade stand. That's really cool. It's, it's called freshly squeezed. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Uh. Shout out! He has an Instagram too, right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah, right. I thought so. Freshly squeezed ILM. Yep, yeah, it's freshly underscore squeezed underscore ILM. So everyone listening, go yeah. give it a follow. Yeah, we he started in our neighborhood, and so we just kind of like did it off of him in our neighborhood, and kind of got like feedback from everybody there, and then you know one thing led to another, and then also too, I was at BB and T in the mortgage department. Okay, and well, I was a different department him, but I was in the mortgage department, and then BB and T merged with SunTrust, which mm-hmm. is now Truist. So we were part of the layoff, and so he was laid off last January. I was laid off in February. Wow. So then our son was doing the Freshly Squeezed, but I was also doing Doolittle's Pet Concierge, which is another Instagram page, uh-huh. and where I went and became a dog groomer, a pet CPR instructor, so I can teach other pet parents and dog groomers pet CPR and oh, wow. senior and dental care for their animals, as well as pet sitting. And so we did that up until we opened up Drinks. But another thing, the reason why we opened up drinks was, I'm going to try not to get upset, but he almost died on me last July 4th. Oh, my goodness. He was sick. And finally on July 4th, he woke up, and we took him to the emergency room. And thank God he tested negative for COVID. And they had to do exploratory surgery on him, and they had to give him an ileostomy bag. Mm. And so from us losing our job from bb t laying us off, to me doing my dog grooming business, I knew that if something happened to him or me, our two kids wouldn't have anything to fall back on. Mm. So I knew we had to go ahead with this cafe or with this business so that they would have something. And so they did the surgery. He, um, We opened up. We got the keys and had the cargo in October. He had his second surgery in November, had the ileostomy bag reversed. And then January 4th, we opened up. Oh, wow. And nobody even knew he was sick the whole time. 
And um, wow. and so going from being, you know, jobless to being, oh, my God, to him almost dying to the cafe, it was like we had to push forward and we had to hustle and make sure that it worked. And so by the grace of God and the love of the community, here we are. We're growing. Wow, that's so an incredible When story. one door closes, another one opens. And for years we wanted to open up our cafe, but we were so instilled when you get a job, you stay in the career, you stay there, and you retire. Mm -hmm. But our fate was in someone else's hands. And so, actually, I knew October the 5th, the year prior, I wasn't going to have a job. And I worked in the Wilson Operations Center. And so that two hours back from Wilson to Wilmington on October the 5th was the longest two hours because I knew I wasn't going to have my job, but I still had to give it 110% mm -hmm. until they laid me off. And so I had registered for classes at Cape Fear, and thank God I was able to do the dog grooming. So when they let me go in January, I was able to do the dog grooming and then the pet CPR instructing and stuff like that. And so that's how we made ends meet until we opened up the cafe. Wow. And so we're a little mom-and-pop shop. Yeah. So. That is an amazing story of perseverance. <laughs> yeah. So Sorry to get all emotional. No, no, but no. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. But, yeah. It, it so. definitely – like puts into perspective, like there's so many things out there and so many people, I mean, this is uh 2022 and there's so many like people who are like, Oh, you know, Gen Z, all these kids don't care about anything. I'm like, but most of the businesses they work for don't care about them anyway. So I agree that you should take care of yourself. You need to find out what you can do to help your family mm -hmm. and help what, yeah. And It'll so set now, you up for success. If something happens to either one of us, it, you know, now our kids have something to fall back on, whether they have to sell the business or work from the business. Yeah. And so either way, they've got something because I can't see my daughter or my son doing dog grooming or pet CPR because <laughs> that's not their thing. And they're both allergic to all animals. So oh, oh, that yeah. would have been a disaster. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, not a good job for them. <laughs> no. <laughs> so they like this a lot better. It, it was definitely a wake up call. Yeah. Um, well, uh, it, Eating it, wise it, too. It gave, it gave us really the ability to just jump, mm -hmm. just jump. I, I did have another aspect that while I was sick, I, I, I did try to be frugal with our money. <laughs> <clears throat> so I did invest some money into stocks. Okay. okay. Which is, uh, I don't know if y'all have heard of a, little Reddit site called Wall Street Bets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I caught, like, the middle of that. Mm. So I happened to put a lot of our money into some of those things. Yeah. Like AMC, Doge. Yeah. I bought Doge when it was nothing. Okay. And Did you do GameStop, too, or is that the I did GameStop for a little while, but then that kind of peaked and went mm. away. Right. So. The one he bought and sold, I could <laughs> choke him. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, you play those cards, right, but yeah. it, it give us the ability to to start the business and and not have to use loans. run to a bank and and use a loan and stuff like that, so which is that's a scary that's the scary part up. is to roll right yeah. up under some debt, you know. Yeah. So we're knock on wood, operating on operating on savings basically. Wow. Yeah, that's incredible to start kind of what you started already and then have the growth that you have without having to go the loan route. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Slowly but surely we've gotten there. And then, you know, with the community and stuff, too, with us being our mom and pop shop, you know, people would tip us. And so when we first opened, we, we were like, what do we do with all these tips? <laughs> And so we just started something called like a tip share where we raise money for different fundraisers or make awareness of different things that, you know, you may not be aware of. And so we've given back to the community that way with our tip share program. And like, so like for two weeks, we would we would we would tell people your tips are going to this. Right. So for those two weeks, any tips they gave or whatever like that, we just like communities and schools or yoga villagers okay. or play it forward where they take in used instruments and give to kids that want to play music that can't afford an instrument. Yeah. Just different awarenesses, you know, just different things or even like sports because our daughter plays softball. Yeah. So we've been able to give back and sponsor different teams and players and stuff like that and so it's really cool that the community has you know been involved with that as well to be able to help highlight things as well so we kind of give back to the community that way so i like that it's definitely i like the perspective because i mean you know that because you're a mom and pop i mean you're you make the profit but those tips because people love your service because you guys you have a <laughs> 
really great vibe. Like every time, like I walked in there the first time and like, I always think of like that. Don't judge a book by its cover. Cause like I walked into the store and, and Joe was in there and he was like, Hey, <laughs> and I was like, yep, I definitely wouldn't have expected you to be sitting there offering like some nice holistic, like Lotus drinks. I like in my head, like, you know, everyone judges everything, but I saw this and I was like, oh, you know, he's probably like, you know, this six foot eight skinny surfer dude. Like <laughs> it's good. And no, he, you just have like, obviously he doesn't look just like that. You'll find him on social media. <laughs> but, yeah. He's short. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> but, not six foot eight. <laughs> I'm on, I understand. I am vertically <laughs> challenged as well. I'm, I'm right with you. Not everyone can be as tall as Chris. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I just love that, like, you guys have one of those personalities that kind of perseveres through pretty much everything mm. and that you are investing in the community. I've heard so many little people who are like, oh, my gosh, the cargo district is horrible. You know, they're gentrifying everything. And I'm like, y'all don't know, like, the stories that go into this mm -hmm. place. Like, it, yes, somebody's buying property and expanding, but giving opportunities to small businesses, startup right. businesses, and kind of like giving them the place and the opportunity. If you took more than, you know, three seconds to like make a judgment, you could see that this, right. this is a great space for up and coming. It is because yeah. we've seen a lot of people go from doing markets to actually going into a cargo container to going into a building and, you know, expanding. And so that's the one good thing about this is that you're not locked in and they it's a community and everybody helps you. And when you post something for someone, they share it and then another person shares it. And then if you just constantly share, that's free social media and support mm -hmm. and the community aspect of that. And so you're reaching more people because everybody's got different followers and that may pique their interest when they see it on a story just because you're sharing it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all take a peek at my story, but yeah. yes. I've got stuff that keep you busy for hours, but that's because I like to share everybody. I'll share other coffee shops, other businesses, you know, just everybody, because to me it's a community and without the community, we wouldn't be where we're at. Yeah. Yeah, you got that right. And I go through your whole entire story every day too, because there's something <laughs> going on and you post it for a reason. So there's always some kind of value going through it and, and something just, going on here. And then I also run the Market Madness ILM page, mm -hmm. which is where like basically you can be a tourist in your own city because people look for markets. Like when on the first Sunday of every month, we've got the crafted market. It's like a huge festival. We've got, you know, about 20 to 30 vendors, food trucks, you know, local makers and stuff. And they just come together, you know, the first Sunday, and it's so cool to be able to have that. Well, you know, they've got them all over the place, all over Wilmington, so you can go down to Front Street, downtown, Castle Street. Like They're all over throughout the month, and so that page kind of helps highlight, you know, different local vendors and markets and stuff like that, too. See, so. I never heard about that. I think that's kind of cool. Like, <clears throat> one— I'm working on the weekends because I work traditional retail, but it, that's kind of cool to know. Like it's an easy place to go versus me having like Google, Hey, what markets open today? Mm -hmm. Just knowing that there's a page that I can go to and be like, Hey, you know, well, nine times out of 10, because I do share so much on my Instagram page, people do come to my store or they'll message me and be like, Hey, is there a market at the, at the, where's the oh, market at cool. this weekend? And I'll be like, Hey girl, or Hey dude, it's at such and such or whatever. And so now this way, I don't have to answer messages. It's on one page right. and I've got it <laughs> tagged in the top of my drinks page. So you can click on it and go right to it. And it's got every like market and stuff. And then if there's a new business, you know, I do a shout out, be like, Hey, new business, check out this person, blah, blah, blah. They're having a grand opening don't miss out and stuff like that and so people will send me their information and i post it for them and so everything is up there for whatever you want to do nice yeah you're so. great at networking too just yeah. in general and i saw that you recently joined port, port city young, young professionals yes i'm an ambassador for them as well oh, wow. and so i try to bring people out there and just network and if there's anything that i can do to bring to the table to help out your business i'd like to be an asset and then maybe you've got something that could help us out because we're new yeah. into business and then that way we can network and that these meet and greets that we do the third wednesday of every month at various different places in wilmington we just, you know, network with other people, and it's really great because 
you know, there might be something out there, let's say if you're looking for wood or flooring or a plumber, then you may find a couple of them out there and then you can exchange information and then go from there and build, you know, a nice rapport. And then you've got, you know, a new friend, a new business person and, you know, a new reference. Right. And so, yeah, another community. I think that's one of the things that helped you guys grow so much is just pouring into the community like you guys well, I'm do. I'm a social butterfly. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we can't help that. Happen. I'm a chatty yeah. Kathy and a social butterfly. It was going to happen naturally regardless. Unfortunately, I just have to drag him with me, and he's just like, oh, God. So he sits at I the bar it. at those things and chats with whoever wants to sit at the bar, and me, I'm just boop, 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 floating, <laughs> floating around. around yeah. I feel like in every relationship, there's <laughs> yeah. there's the person who's like, da 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 and then the, the person who's just like, chill. <laughs> like, out of me and Tyler, unfortunately <laughs> – we're both pretty chatty people, but if we're out, I'm probably going to be sitting down being quiet. But mm-hmm. if I'm out with my wife, she's like, where did he disappear to? <laughs> like we threw her birthday party and all of our friends showed up and she literally was like, you disappeared for like 20 minutes. It's like, Oh yeah, I was upstairs to having a whole on conversation with like six people. And I left somebody hanging at like cornhole. And <laughs> I was like, that's just my personality. I'm, I'm down to throw a party, but I'm also going to sit back and be like, Hey, you can come here. Well, yep. he jokes with me. He's like, basically, I walk people to their car because I'm just like Chapman. I'm like, one more thing, <laughs> but one more thing. And oh, yeah. he's like, April, stop, Shh, sit. But often I have to pull up the wrap it up card. You know? yep. <laughs> He'll turn on the sink or something, start washing his hands, right. <laughs> give me the eyes. I'm like, it's okay. They got to go. They got to go. I'm like, no, they don't. One more minute. <laughs> so That's why we had to bring your, you guys on too, though. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's good for podcasts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so we just want everybody to, you know, love love coming to us and they feel like family because we are a mom and pop. So we want you to feel when you come in, hey, you know, we're going to go hang out with mom and pop. Yep. And so hopefully at our new location we'll have strong Wi-Fi to where, you know, you can hang out and yeah. chat with us and be on your. We want you to feel like you stopped in at your house and then yeah. left. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, when you were talking about it before, you are saying that there's going to be uh, – a bar as well, kind of setting up there where you guys do everything with some like bar stools and stuff. Mm-hmm. So that'd be really cool too to kind of come up with the laptop, do some work yeah. on there, and sit there and talk to you guys and mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tyler already wants a plaque in front of one of the seats. Like, <laughs> we got you, we Tyler got spot. you, we got it. I love it. Oh, brain. F- I had a question. Oh, okay. So do you guys? Because <clears throat> I mean, obviously, the main thing is the drinks. Super delicious. And you said, do you guys sell like just the little baby, like take it home? We do. We do a DIY where we put the recipe in a little bottle and we give you the cup and the club soda. And basically you just go home, fill it up with ice. We give you the syrup, pour it in, and then you top it off with the club soda or flat water or whatever of your choice. And then drink it, stir it and drink it. How much do those cost? They are $6.99. Okay. Not bad. No. So and five ninety nine for our regular drinks, and they're twenty four ounce. So oh, you just, yeah. it's a dollar more just for the convenience because we give you the cup, straw, right. the dr- the can, basically everything but the ice. Yeah. And then if you want to dole it out and have a loaded lotus, you can <laughs> put a little smidge or whatever That's in right. there too. That's right. See, so. I, like I ask this for the people like me who aren't like constantly in the cargo district. You can show up and buy like a six pack and be good for the week, and then you know just make it as you want. Well, I'm not going to lie. We had 34 DIYs go out the door today. Oh, wow. To one, a, to one customer. Yeah, one customer. <laughs> she comes every two weeks. Oh, there you go. Every two weeks, she gets 34 DIYs. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. So we're not complaining on that one. No, no not at all. <laughs> yeah. But I, I'm like, I like that because, like I said, I don't drink coffee. Typically, if I drink anything in the morning, it's water or tea, mm-hmm. depending on how much time I have when I wake up and get a workout in. Mm-hmm. But, like... Having that availability of something that I don't have to do a full on like bang energy drink or something ridiculous and have that crash at like 12 o'clock midday. Mm. I think for those who are listening, this is a great opportunity to come check them out, get something. And it's it's also just nice to have like sitting in the fridge. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, our goal eventually, once we move into our new location, get settled in. We would love to can our drinks, and the first one we want to can is our Pink Dragon and then our Golden Taurus. So we've got those two that we want to can, and so that's next on our to-do list. So so what's in those? I was just about to ask. 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the pink dragon is our pink lotus with our dragon fruit in that one. And then the, the golden Taurus is red lotus. Yeah, it's just red lotus. So it's our yeah. plant based version of Red Bull, but it's our version of it. And so we call it golden Taurus instead of Red Bull. <laughs> and it's a golden yellow color, too. So we can just bottle that up. Oh, that's easy. I like yeah. that. So, but we just well, kind of. And actually, Lotus is moving. They're not calling it red. They're, they're going to start calling it Cascara. Okay. It kind of fits the brand a little bit better. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to, like, with it being the Cascara coffee fruit, which holds the coffee bean, it's hard to describe. Is it like, is it a coffee or is it like a tea or a refresher? Mm-hmm. So that's another thing, too. So we just kind of call it like a loaded a Lotus Energy drink, just so it covers all barriers of all the questions and all the columns. So we just check coffee, tea, refresher, yeah. <laughs> all the above. Yeah. So we're in our own little category. I just go plant based energy drink. Yeah. That too. And I name all the plants. Yeah. <laughs> I just point at the poster and say, all that's in our drink. Yeah. 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 All that. What was one of the things that really sticks out to you that you've learned throughout this process? Hmm. A lot. <laughs> yeah. I would say inventory. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Because with the shortage from COVID, when we first started, like we knew about there was a shortage, but when we actually got into it, yeah. it was like, oh my God, because we, you know, trying to get certain items, they're hard to get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so you're having to substitute stuff out without saying, hey, I'm having to substitute out or we don't have it. Because being a new business, you don't want to start off saying, oh, well, we're out of this or, oh, we can't serve that or, oh, well. So we've been able to somehow... Knock on wood. I need to find some right. some real wood somewhere. <laughs> but I've been able to keep a nice stock to where I'm almost like a distributor for lotus and syrups around here because I've got so much in stock so that I wouldn't have that problem. And so oh, I've wow. actually had to help out other people it around here. It almost looks like a problem. <laughs> yeah, almost like a hoarding problem with lotus and syrups because, I, I, I mean, I hate to kind of brag, but one of the yeah. wedding venues here in mm-hmm. Wilmington – couldn't find lavender lemon or lavender syrup anywhere. Oh, Nobody wow. had it. This girl had eight <laughs> bottles, and they needed how many? Eight bottles. Well, I had ten on hand, but they needed right. eight. I was like, "Got you, got you." But please remember me the next time. Right. <laughs> and so you know, I was able to help them out in a pinch because like nobody, nobody had it, and so I was like, "Yay, toot toot!" <laughs> <Right. laughs> I was able to save the day. So, and that's the kind of aspect I want is definitely, you know, community over competition because I would hate for them to say I'm sold out of something and when I can say, hey, I got you. Right. So that's how we like to operate, just to help out anybody we can because we've had so many people open up the door and help us Mm -hmm. and give us advice and, you know, be like, hey, don't do this because we've done that, you know, and they've saved us a couple footsteps and some money and stuff like that and headaches. Yeah, that's that's one takeaway that I've learned from different businesses that I've done, too, is don't look at the quote unquote competition as competition Mm -hmm. by reaching out and helping each other is one of the best ways to grow. So even when I had my DJing company in PA, just being friends with those guys and helping each other out and spotting each other's speakers and giving away gigs when you get too busy and whatnot. Those are the things that helped us grow exponentially more than any marketing dollar ever could. And then even Chris can tell you here, just being able to work with other people that are in the content creation world and podcasting world, the opportunities that we've had that come up from that is just incredible. So that, that'd be one of my takeaways for businesses. Yeah. Don't let competition be competition. Yeah. Exactly. Cause like today we sat down with Amy at blue cup. Yeah. So we're going to, when we move to our new location, which, you know, we haven't announced yet, but we're going to do espresso and matcha and stuff Uh, like that. And so we're like, who else are we going to have for coffee other than Blue Cup? Why Mm -hmm. not keep it in the cargo? They're on one side of the cargo. We're on the other side of the cargo. And they have a roastery. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, (laughs) if we're ever short beans, we can say, hey, Amy. And we could basically do a seven-minute walk, which I'm not going to do. I'll take my (laughs) two-minute drive over here or get me a little scooter and scoot over here and, you know, and get me more beans if I need it. And so, in that way, you know, if she needs syrups or coffee, you know, we can definitely, you know, help each other out that way. So, we're excited to be able to introduce Blue Cup. Well, I definitely definitely think that community over competition is the right way to go for business. Things that I've seen are, <clears throat> like, for instance, when somebody's in our place and they want a hot coffee, 
we immediately send them over to where they can get right. hot coffee. I mean, because what one customer's taste is, another customer's taste might not be. So when that person's over there wanting a refresher, likewise, they point right. in our direction. So that's where I see business being really successful yep. is when we can grow off each other because we're all we're, we're all trying to gain the same customer base. Mm-hmm. So we just need to keep the same customer base happy no matter what. Right. And and that and helps both of us and helps community. And I think the cargo passport was a great idea where they were trying yeah. to get everybody to come out on Wednesdays and shop at different places. And then, you know, you can get gift certificates and stuff. That was, you know, trying to be like a community thing. But it's been kind of hard to get it off the ground, I guess, because of the summer. And now schools get ready to go back. Yeah. But I hope they entertain the idea and keep on working with it because I feel like that's something the cargo could use. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like. When fall comes around and it's not scorching hot like it has been, mm-hmm. it'll be nicer too because the cargo district is starting to expand so yes. much where you're you're walking a lot to get from one place to another. So there's no parking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is one of those like good and bad things, right? Like, you have to get you a scooter and start yeah, right. coming to work on. Where's those exactly. girls at that were here in the courtyard back right. in August? They had the little scooters that folded up. Oh yeah, love that. I just, it was just a little premature. Yeah, because yeah. if we had a scooter place, we could have one here and then one on the other side of the cargo, yeah. and then you could swap them back and forth. Shh. Yeah, shh. Might be <laughs> an idea for Before somebody. Giving away <laughs> businesses here. Look, they're going to take it. They're like, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> we are at capacity right now. So, <laughs> we have a few too many things going on. Sure. You need another hustle? You sure? Yeah, oh, I'm sure. But at your comments, like community over competition, it always makes me laugh because, like, I'm of the age that I grew up watching Miracle on 34th Street, mm. like the remake. And mm. in my head, I've been in retail for almost 15 years, and I'm always the same way. I'm like, he did the right thing. And I don't understand how so how that movie did so well that kids and adults nowadays don't realize, like, if you don't have it, send them to the place that does. Mm-hmm. Like, if you, like, yes, it's a movie, and it's a, it's, but it's a good mindset to have is because like if you're doing right by that person they'll remember it and they'll try and come back exactly. and see you exactly. mm-hmm. but there's so many people nowadays who are like no 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 i need all the money i need to it's like no matter what i'm gonna leave a good taste in their mouth yeah whether Ooh. it was with a drink or if i helped them out yeah i love that that's fantastic that was so good <laughs> yeah. i'm so mad i didn't think of that right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because that'd be perfect for your whiskey and whiskey leave right. a good taste in your mouth yeah no matter what no matter hold on, what hold on i'm gonna Right, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. so Because we also feel like, you know, people come there for the personality as well as the product, too. And so you want to give them both, the experience and good food as well. Yeah. And so that's what we – because we learn with how, past jobs and experience, especially being at bb for so long, we saw how, you know – how we want to treat people and or like how we want to be treated. And well, stuff. I mean, it's just being in, being in big business. I mean, yeah. we saw the guys on top were making all the cash and it's, it's discouraging. It's very discouraging. And <laughs> your managers are doing all they can mm-hmm. to keep you happy, <laughs> keep the bean counters counting, <clears throat> but it's a party. we just, and we, we're going to, we want to take that same mentality into our business to where when we grow, so does everybody else. Right. So, you know, at the end of the day, we want the business to strive and achieve what the business needs to, but we don't want to leave anybody else behind that's busted their tail for us. So. Right. Exactly. It's a fantastic mindset to have. Mm-hmm. And since we're starting to get up on an hour here, you guys can take the final question together or separate, whatever you may choose. Right. And I know you've listened to a few episodes, so you might know. If you were to tell your younger self anything, what would it be? Oh, my gosh. Do it sooner. Yeah. We should have yeah. opened up business yep. so much sooner. Absolutely. But we waited and waited because we did what, you know, what we were instilled in, you know. Mm-hmm. What no, you're you, supposed get, you to. get comfortable. You have yep. to step out of your comfort zone, and it's scary. Yeah. It is very scary because you just – you don't know – you get so used to that check coming every week, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go count my beans and my check's going to be here and I'll go count my beans. And then you get to a point where you're like, all right, I'm going to try this. Oftentimes people, I think, keep the bean counting job and try to do a business as well. And, and, and sometimes, and and I think the comfort doesn't let them leave and focus solely on the business at hand so they can, so it can really grow and take off because Mm -hmm. it needs 
all of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's what's so powerful about your, your all story, right? Is it, it came down to it. You had a dream, you had a goal and everything that happened to you at that moment was supposed to happen because it, it was that fire. It was that one thing mm-hmm. that really pushed you into it. And before the podcast, we were talking about you guys going to church and stuff. And that that's one of those stories that just feels like a God thing to me yeah. where something so horrible could happen with the layoff and sickness mm-hmm. and everything and have something so great. And the, the strength of the community that came around you afterwards too. And nobody even knows until right. now really about, you know, his health and stuff because, you know, we didn't want to be weak. We want to be able to do it. And it's just us right. two. We don't have, we don't you know, want pity. Yeah. We right. don't have family or support. It's just us. So here it is. Here we are. <laughs> so yeah. Super powerful. So, and, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that, that was one of the things you brought up, too, because there's so many people that they're just comfortable with where they're at. And one of the things that I started a coaching program and one of the things that they they harp on to the people that are average aren't the ones that are great, right, because they're they're average and they're not willing to take that leap of faith. They're not willing to step out. And, and you guys did it and successfully. And so now we become everybody else's cheerleaders. Yeah. And that kind of goes back to what you were saying before, too. Should have started sooner. Like, I know. Start, start sooner, right? Yeah. And one of the things I've always heard, too, is when it comes to children and starting a business, there's never a perfect opportunity. Mm-hmm. There's never a perfect Just time. Just do it. Yeah. Do it. That's how we're here. Right. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Just decided if to you, go if out you and plan do it. for it. You will continue to plan for it forever. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I've, I've lost opportunities for that too. Just when you mm-hmm. sit and you wait for per- perfection, you'll never have perfection because it doesn't exist. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's right. And then it's another way to kick the can down the road a little bit further. It's another excuse. Well, it's not perfect yet. So I'm not going to do it yet. It's not perfect exactly. yet. So I'm not going to do it yet. Well, and another excuse we had was we wanted to wait for our daughter to get out of high school and get mm-hmm. into college because she was doing travel softball. And we knew if we had a business, too, we wouldn't be able to have our weekends. And, the, you know, it, yeah. it, it normally takes two years to get a business off the ground right. and up and running and making profit. Mm-hmm. And so that was another hold up too. Well, she graduated last year in May, and then he got sick in July. And then, you know, I was like, oh, well, we're going to do this anyway. So she, you know, we... Had a lot going on last year. We definitely got shaken up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But we fell out all right, I think. Yeah. It seems like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So. What's amazing to think of that I was just thinking of now, that it hasn't even been a full year that you guys have been open or that we've been doing this, but it feels like we've been doing it for oh, so I, long. It does. It <laughs> does. Yeah. Ages. I'm ready to retire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like when I was saying, you know, when we first started and we did a couple, I was like, that was the beginning of this year. Yeah. Like it legitimately in my head. I was like, cause when we talked to you guys, I was like, Oh yeah, they've been open for like at least a year. And I was like, no, it's only been like a month, a month and a half. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But y'all are rolling. But I, I do want to say thank you guys for coming on. Yes. Thank well, you for thank having you us. Thank you for inviting us. We appreciate Absolutely. It. Yeah. And thanks for coming on, especially such late notice and stuff. So that was fantastic. Of course. Thank you. So my question is what, where can people find you guys on the interwebs, social medias and all that? Well, right now we're only operating with Instagram. Okay. We have a Facebook page too, but our Instagram's where to go. Yeah. yeah. That's how we are. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's drinks.ilm on Instagram is where you can find us. And then, and also in the cargo district. So either way. Yeah. Thanks. Feel free to stop by in person and say hi. Yeah. Yes. Come yeah. by and see us. Try Lotus, try an acai bowl, or we've got 40 below Joe. Oh, I do need to try yes, that. Yes, they're I dipping keep... dots for adults. Yeah. Ooh. Espresso yes. dipping dots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you can either have them in the dipping dot style, cold, like ice cream, or you can heat them up in your cup with some warm with some water and have it hot. Oh, I didn't know. So you which, can have it either way. fresh. Yeah, yeah. fresh espresso. Yeah, because it's cryogenically frozen, like, immediately. Ah, I see. Huh. So when you melt it back, it's like you just... Just brewed it. And it's oh, wow. either almond-based or coconut-based, depending on which 40 Below Joe cup you choose. And we've got six different flavors of house blend, French vanilla, vanilla, hazelnut, caramel, something or another. I don't know. Six flavors. Salted caramel. Salted caramel. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. I do the French vanilla. Whew, so that does good. sound good, too. <laughs> 
yeah, I'm gonna have to try that sooner than later. I keep, <laughs> I keep coming in to get a drink and I'm like, Oh, I need to do that sometime too. That looks so good. Right. Well, you can't go wrong. Second question. So, cause obviously we're, we're spilling the beans cause you're, we're a little bit early. When are you officially announcing your upgrade? Well, we've, we've been telling people that we're, we're upgrading. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're supposed to be in it by the end of September. So, hopefully, well, right now, yeah, by the end of September, but if we're in there before then, well, I'll be surprised, but don't you worry. I'm going to put it on social media (laughs) as soon as I I get the keys. I promise nobody will miss a thing. Nope. Y'all know me. (laughs) Not at all. I'm having a little flappy man out there with drinks on it, everything. Uh, Nice. (laughs) So, keep an eye out for the for the upgrade mm. to the location. Until then, check them out in the alleyway on the cargo district. If you don't know where the alleyway is, find the barber shop and just go around the corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's signs now. Uh, yeah, there's yeah. a there's a cargo district mural that says shops this way yep. down the alleyway. And then we've got our music thumping and bumping. So We've tried to make the alley as inviting as possible. Yes. Because I think it's distilled in people. Don't go down the alley. <laughs> go down the alley. But our alleyway's so pretty. It, is. it really is. Like, <laughs> and there's Olio down there now. Exactly. Yes. I tried exactly. to get Kelly to come on, but she won't. So if you wanna, oh, try good to luck. Her. Kelly, She's very shy. I'm Kelly, it's your turn. <laughs> right. Get Zoe, her sister. So it's a yeah. Zoe Kelly duo. That's your ticket. I tried. I tried to get both of them on at the same time, but I was like, all right, I'm going after Zoe next then because <laughs> they they have a great story too. Oh yeah. Oh, I like to hear it. Their story. I love it. But like I said, thank you guys for hopping on with us on such short notice, but also just being great people to chat with. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Thank you for all the fun listeners. I mean, we've actually done a really great month yeah. for us, and we just want to thank you guys all for the support and just keep it coming. Keep all the listens. Like we always say, leave us a like on all the social medias and like, a five-star and review on yep. Spotify, Apple Podcast. And if you don't have a nice review, don't say anything at all. Because you know, <laughs> that's what my mom always told me. That's right. If you got nothing nice to say, don't say it. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> and like Joey said, you know, we, no matter what, want to leave a good taste in your mouth. So <laughs> either check out drinks for a great drink, or we want to leave you with the thirst to come back and listen to us next week. So cheers. Cheers. Cheers.